it was the end of April of 2019. Um, I was sick. Uh, my mom, I called her to take me out to the hospital. Uh, I pulled up in front of the emergency room door and I took Angie and put her in a wheelchair and just as I pushed her inside the door, which was about, they said it was about six, seven feet from the, where the car was at, I heard the kids scream and well, you, you know your own children's screams and I run back and I saw the, the guy getting in my car. And she had locked the doors from my side of the passenger side but with the new lock mechanisms on cars, if you leave your keys in the ignition, it doesn't lock the driver's side door. He started my car and took off, and I ran around to the driver's side. The only thing on my mind was both those children in that car. And I grabbed the car door and I opened it several times, but he kept pulling it shut. He accelerated and, well, he drugged me away. <laughs> and I, I got hurt really bad. Chance had already undone his seatbelt and was getting out of the car through the passenger side. Um, and he realized that's when Skyler was unable to get out of the car because the guy had a hold of her. He reached back into the car and pulled Skyler away from the gentleman who had a hold of her hoodie. They both fell out of the car when Chance pulled her out while the car was moving. And Chance had, in the meantime, pulled Skyler out, plus he ran to the security people to get them. And Skylar ran to my mom because she saw that my mom was down on the ground because the carjacker had drugged my mom. Chance ran into the hospital straight to me and said he, he's taken grandma's car, he tried to take us. And then that's when the security guards and the police all came out of everywhere. In, that, in the moment of when it all happened, all I could do was hear people screaming. All I could hear was my mom screaming, he's got my kids. That was the most sickening feeling I'd ever had in my entire life. He's proved himself. When he saved Skylar out of that car, that was, that was it for everybody. He's, he's everybody's little hero. <laughs> The police did catch him. They caught him 10 to 15 minutes away from the hospital, literally on the other, almost on the other side of town. He was driving the car at high speeds. He has been charged with two counts of kidnapping. When I got custody of Chance and Skyler, I just finished raising my two kids. Now I'm a grandmother and I'm raising my great niece and my great nephew, which I think is wonderful and a joy to do. But that was unexpected. They're good kids. I love them. Like, what do they mean to you? They know I love them. I, I, I tell them all the time I've got their back. All right, let's be Chance. I gotta say, it's just brave walking out on stage and having all these people yelling at you, right? Yeah. Um, first of all, I have to say, you know, watching that tape of you saving your sister has to be one of the most craziest things I've ever seen anybody do in my life. When this was going on, how scary was that for you? Very. Very scary, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, everybody looks at you as a hero and you are a hero. I mean, truthfully, and I say it all the time, we need people like you in the world, right? Um, we're gonna meet your sister, right? And what's her name? Skylar. Skylar, let's meet Skylar. <laughs> How you doing, Skylar? Nice meeting you. You, you're, your brother's a, a big hero. But now, correct me if I'm wrong, when I was watching that tape, you, after you got a car, you were running to save your grandma, right? Yes. Look at that, I mean, we got two heroes on stage. <laughs> um, 
Do do you remember what happened that day? Yes. What, what, what you want to tell us what you remember? The guy was started looking around and then got and got back in the car. Then he started telling my brother to get out of the car. And Chance got halfway out of the car and the guy had a hold of the back of my hoodie and I couldn't get out and then Chance was able to pull you out of the car. Yeah. And, and obviously you were very scared, right? Yeah. Well, that's a very traumatic thing to go through at such a young age. It'd be traumatic for anybody in this room to go through that. Uh, be super scary for a stranger to jump in our car and try to take us away. So I can imagine how scared uh, you were. But like I said, what's great is both your instincts were to protect each other. You were protecting her. Um, you ran after, even though how scared you were, you were running after the car to protect your grandmother, uh, which is just unbelievable. So what do you want to say to your brother? That I'm very proud of him. Thank you. Yeah. And you guys are very close, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, well, let's meet Angela and Nita. Really unbelievable story. It is, yeah. Two, just two of the courageous kids. Like I, I said, um, what he did is just unbelievable. But then as I'm watching the tape, before I was even seeing it, after she gets pulled out of the car, she goes running after the car to try to help you. Yeah, she does. And listen, I was a police officer. I've seen grown adults curl up in a fetal position when there was a traumatic incident going on. Mm -hmm. And here these kids are like superheroes. <laughs> Uh, jumping in on action. Um, we at the Steve Wilco Show wanted to do something for Chance and his family to thank him for his heroism. So we teamed up with Novation Settlement Solutions, and we would like to present you with a check in the amount of $5,000. Yeah. I heard this comes at a good time. Yeah. You can hold the check. And, and since kids don't care about money, we have something for you guys. <laughs> so, so you got your Legos there, right? Yeah. You like that? Oh, well, thank you. You know, me, my wife and I were talking about this. You know, we do a show where sometimes the stories aren't always easy. But you can't just show that reflection of life. And what we are trying to do is show the positive in people, right. the, good, the goodness in people, and, you know, the courage in people. So they have so much going for them in life, besides what the people they are but the people that are watching out for them. You really have blown away, both of you, with your acts of uh, courage, and I couldn't be any more prouder of you. So, congratulations.